All current Faker techniques require the lens to be freely mobile within its capsular bag. Only then can it be safely dissembled and efficiently removed. Hydrodissection is the technique that's used to achieve this mobilization, and it does so by propagating a wave of fluid within the lens material, which separates it from its surrounding attachments. In theory, hydrodissection can be performed at any depth within the lens, but in reality, there are really only two depths that are practically useful. First of all, there's the deeper hydrodissection of the endonucleus, which is referred to as hydrodelineation. This was first described by Dr. Annis in 1991, and it's generally used in more advanced or harder cataracts to define and separate the central endonucleus from the overlying epinucleus. Hydrodelineation is often accompanied by the famous golden ring sign, and it enables the endonucleus to be dissembled and removed from within its protective shell of surrounding epinucleus. Secondly, there's the more superficial cortical cleaving hydrodissection. This was first described by Dr. Howard Fine in 1993, and it's a very useful technique in which a subcapsular wave of fluid disrupts the adhesions between the capsule and the underlying cortex. It can be used together with, or sometimes instead of, hydrodelineation, and it leaves a fairly clean capsule requiring minimal cortical cleanup. Both of these techniques are essential for phaco surgery, and it's important that you master them early on. If performed correctly, they're safe and efficient, and they'll consistently mobilize the lens within the capsular bag. They basically set the scene for the safe removal of the lens material, and leave you with very little residual cortex at the end. Before we go on to look at the details of the techniques, let's take a look at the basic tools that you'll need in order to carry out these hydro maneuvers both safely and effectively. The only equipment you'll need is a 2.5mm lure lock syringe and a blunt cannula that's about 26 gauge. There are many different designs of cannula out there, with as many and varied tips and profiles, testimonial to the fact that none of them is universally superior to the others. The one thing that's essential is that the syringe has a lure lock nozzle. Without this, the high pressure that's generated can shoot the cannula off the tip of a standard syringe with potentially disastrous results. So now you've hopefully got a clearer idea of what's meant by the term hydro maneuvers. It includes hydrodelineation and cortical cleaving hydrodissection. You should go on now and study both these techniques in more detail by watching the other movies in this section.